So I think it's an amazing time to get into this field. Uh, we know that the burden of disease is huge, but I think the potential for new discoveries is substantial. Uh, and I would say to new scientists in the field to be bold, be brave, and ask big, important questions. Now she's a world leader in metabolic science and played an essential role in better understanding the role leptin plays as regulator of appetite and body weight in humans. I'm joined by this year's Outstanding Scientific Achievement Award winner, Dr. Sadaf Baruki. Hello. Thank you so much and congratulations. Um, let's just begin, where did all of this start? So it really started about 20 years ago uh, when I was a research fellow working with Stephen O'Reilly, who I'm delighted has won the Banting Medal this year. Um, and really it started from a very chance finding, uh, and that was to investigate uh, the cause of severe obesity in two young children uh, from a consanguineous family in whom all of the other potential causes of obesity had ruled, been ruled out. Uh, and so actually the, my sort of role in this was to measure leptin in those children, which had really just been discovered in mice, uh, and we showed that they were deficient in leptin, and then went on to show that was a, because of a genetic abnormality. So that was really the, the first part of this. Yeah, I was going to say, is that what led you to then understand the genetic mechanisms for obesity? Yes, that's right. So that was the first proof that disruption of a gene could cause obesity in people, specifically in these children. But then we went on to study many other children and families and show that other genetic disorders could also cause obesity. Yeah, what was the thinking at that time and now how has it changed? So actually there's been a major shift in our thinking. Uh, back in those days, people were really not that interested in thinking about causes of obesity. It was seemed to be quite a simple thing. People just eat too much or don't exercise enough. We don't really think about biology and mechanisms. Uh, but studies in mice were beginning to show that actually there were real biological pathways involved. And our work allowed us to say this is also important in people. Are you able to pick one satisfying achievement? There must have been so many, but is there one really that stands out in, in your work that you've done? Uh, so I think the most satisfying was really taking that knowledge from a discovery in our own lab and using that to treat patients. And when we first, first started the trial, giving these children with leptin deficiency injections of recombinant leptin, I still remember that first dose, giving it to a child. Her courage in being really the first person ever in the world to have this treatment uh, and then really watching and waiting to see if it might do something and then realizing that it was actually working. And that has really been the single most important and I think striking uh, recollection for me. Yeah, that must be so satisfying. Absolutely. Job well done. Well, what are you working on now, if you can divulge? Yeah, so we're working on lots of exciting things. Uh, we know that we still don't understand many of the genes that are important in obesity, but we're also taking a different approach because what our patients need are treatments. And so we're looking really now at thin people who manage to stay thin in an environment where many people gain weight and trying to see if we can find those genes that keep them thin and harness those genes to find new treatments for obesity. Yeah, what are those genes? Yeah, we haven't found them yet. <laughs> yeah, we're working on them now. <laughs> and what will you be talking to ADA delegates about this weekend? So I think I'm going to really show how the story has evolved from our understanding that genes can be important, that leptin is important, but how really we understand that there's an entire pathway that biologically regulates our weight. Uh, and that really we need to understand that and have a bit more sympathy and understanding for people who struggle with their weight because of this biology. Your passion for what you do is so evident. So what would be your advice to new scientists uh, considering getting into this field? So I think it's an amazing time to get into this field. Uh, we know that the burden of disease is huge. We know that relatively, we have relatively few things we can do about it. But I think the potential for new discoveries is substantial. Uh, insights from patients and harnessing technology. Uh, and I would say to new scientists in the field to be bold, be brave, and ask big, important questions. Well, congratulations on your thank achievements. You. And Dr. Faruqi, thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you. ADA TV is brought to you from the American Diabetes Association's 79th Scientific Sessions. For more from the meeting, make sure to click these links and subscribe for much more from the world of medicine.